every four hours? The next one's 25 to 3. Uh, I probably would recommend just getting a cab straight there if you're doing this journey. To be honest, because it's just not worth it. Stress, man. Ridiculous amounts of stress. We are really stressed out right now. I can't believe it's so late. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. We're Ty and Sov, and today we are going to be going all the way from Malaysia to Thailand. In this video, we're going to start off in Langkawi and we're making our way to Phuket. It's currently 7.45 in the morning and we are going there by land. So if you are looking to save some money and not catch any flights and you're trying to move from country to country, this video may be helpful for you. And we're going to show you step by step how it's done. So come along on the journey with us. So we're starting here at Jetty Point in Langkawi because we need to get a ferry back to mainland. So let's go. First things first, we're buying some water. It's been a long journey ahead. I'm sure we'll find a shop or something. But yeah, we're gonna get the ferry now to mainland. Our ferry is 8.30 going to Kuala Perilis. Thank you. 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 So we basically bought return tickets because we actually started on mainland and made our way to Lake Kauai. So we paid £22 for both of us. So we worked that out as about £5.50 per trip each. It wasn't any cheaper to actually buy a return either. We just did it because we knew exactly when we were going to come back. So we just got off the ferry and we're in Kuala Perlis now. It's just a short walk from the port all the way into the bus station. It's about a five minute walk maximum. We haven't got tickets, so we're gonna go to the bus station now. We're gonna see if we can get tickets to Padang Basar, which is where the border between Thailand and Malaysia is. So let's go. So we can't get a bus from here to Padang Basar where the border is. We did think that because the guy, the taxi guy told us to get a train there. Uh, but he did say yeah. he did say you can get a bus as well, like a local bus. But I don't think this is a local. I, feel, I don't think these are local buses. I think these are just like coaches. Yeah, when we were arranging this um, and looking at the route, we did see that you can get a local bus, but we were not sure where that's from. We assumed it would probably be here. But these look like the buses that you book. Um, do you reckon we should see where if we can get a local bus from somewhere? Or? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll look at the train, see how much it is for a taxi to the train station, to, and then if it's yeah. cheap from the train station, yeah, we'll have a look at that. So we had a little look online, and it looks like it's quite difficult to get a bus, a public bus, um, because they're only like every few hours, and you know we haven't got that much time to spare. Although our bus is at 6 p.m., the time now is 10 past 11. We haven't got like time to wait for like four hours for a bus so we're gonna get the train so we get we've just ordered a grab taxi and we're gonna go to the train station so the train station is about 20 minutes away in a car and then we're gonna hopefully get a train to the border the Malaysia and Thailand border Padang Basar so fingers crossed it all goes to plan I'm sure it will I'm sure it'll be fine Straight away to the train station, eh? Yes, please. Yes, please mate. How much was this grab? Um, it was £3.84 for this grab. £3.84. It's about a 20 minute journey to the train station. There's lots of parts to this journey, obviously, you can't just go direct. It's not yeah. why it works. You have to try and time it, you have to try and work out the best way to do it. Sometimes you get there and it's not quite what you think it was, you have to change plans. Yeah, um, like we so thought we could get a bus. We could get a bus, but <laughs> we can't, but it's, it's fine. But either way, when we get to this train station, it says the trains are every two hours. If that's the case and we get there at a good time, whatever, it's fine. 
will get the train. The worst comes to worst, you just get a train from the train station to the border, which is about, I think it's only about half an hour from there. So we've done half the journey already. Yeah, so if you're shorter on time, then you could, if you wanted to, of course you can fly, or you can get a taxi from Kuala Pulis all the way to the border, and then you could get a taxi all the way to wherever you needed to go in Thailand. Yeah. Um, but we're doing it by public transport to make it as cheap as possible. With taxis in between. With, uh, taxis if we have to in between, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we're at the train station now. It's called Arau, Aru. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but we're here. I've just walked up two flights of stairs, so I'm out of breath. Um, and we're about to buy our ticket. It's like self-service ticket machines. It's hot today. Every four hours. Oh, what well, Padang Besar? Uh, you want to go Padang Besar? Padang Besar, yeah. Padang Besar, right. You see, Arau ke, ke Arau ke Padang Besar. It's me, Arau to Padang Besar. So there's one that, uh, that, 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 yeah. Oh, 12. Yeah. That's okay, that's okay. Yeah, how do you buy tickets, please? Yeah. Wait, how do you buy tickets? I don't know if he works here. That's right, it's helping us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Very helpful. Oh, thank God for that. Right, we just had a panic then, thinking the next train wasn't until 23. So we thought, God, the trains are every four hours as well as the bus. But it's okay, we were, looking at, we were looking at the wrong timetable. There's one in half an hour, so we're going to get the 12.07pm train to Padang Basar. £1.20 for both of us. 60p each for the train. Not bad, and I think it's about a half an hour journey. Not bad at all. Platform three. Thank you. This is our train ticket. So we're on platform three now, and we're waiting for our train. It's going to be here in about 10 minutes. Hopefully, it goes straight into the border. Now, I read online somewhere that it does go into the border, and there's a train station at the border crossing. So, fingers crossed. We don't get there and it's not actually at the border and we have to get a taxi or something. So it's more time and more money. Um, so fingers crossed we go straight to the border. But stay tuned to find out if we do. We just had a a bit of a commotion. The border is just, we come up down these stairs to outside the, the train station is, and the border is just on the other side of the train station, but it's all closed off. So you've got to go out this way, you've got to go all the way around and then to the border. Um, the woman, the police officer told me that it's actually six kilometers away from here, the border, but I'm looking on maps, it's like one kilometer now. So I don't know what's happened there, but we, we're sure we're going to the right place. We hope we're going to the right place. So I've just booked a grab we're waiting for it to find us a driver right now, um, but it is a bit, a bit it's a, a lot of faffing, it's a lot, it's a lot to do, okay, so save money, but it's, it's yeah, a lot of jumping. a lot jumping of planning here, and, yeah. and swapping transport, isn't yeah. it? But obviously it's going to cost us about £30 each, I think, like, yeah. Yeah. compared to a flight, we're saving, that's at least half, more than half price. So how much is it, 5RM? Yeah. And it's only one thing. So I wonder why that's closed off up there. That would be so much easier if we could just walk through. Well, hopefully we get a taxi. So we've just got a, a grab. It's 12 minutes away. But if you zoom in to the border, you can literally see how close we are. So we literally have to go right around there just, just to go... There. Just that, but Just to, to go literally over there. But to walk that would take us ages to go all the way around there. Yeah. With our bags, it would take us way too long. It would be knackering, so you have to get a cab. Even the police woman said get a taxi because it's far. Oh, long. 20 ring it? Yeah. Wait, what for? Uh, how, how, how far is it? How long does it take? Uh, maybe around 3 or 4, 3 kilometers maybe. But the distance from the... the... the what do you call it? Immigration. Yeah, immigration. We're going to Thailand. Yeah. Ah, immigration. Malaysian immigration. Yeah. We need to, we need to do what, sorry? If you want to go to the Thailand border, right. I need you. I I have to bring you there. If 
you want to walk so I can drop you at the Malaysian border. So it's saying you can drive us through the border for 20 ringgit. Yeah. It's like you free pound 50. So. What, all the way through? Well, you, you take us all the way to Thailand. Okay. You, what, to, for, for 20 ringgit you take us through ah. the yeah. immigration to yeah. Thailand. Yeah. In Thailand. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. As um, far as we can get. Yeah. Thank you. So drop off point is there, but is he gonna take us away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, that's like behind us. That's like there. Yeah. Oh. So we're about to walk through this. Yeah, that's the border. Thailand is just over there. Thailand border. Back we go. Border. We made it. We're halfway there. We made it. <laughs> Maybe not even halfway. So. Enter Thailand right now, all you need is, uh, if you're vaccinated, all you need is your vaccination papers. If you're unvaccinated, I think you just need a negative COVID test. Um, and that's all right now, so. You don't need to do a Thailand pass. Yeah, you don't need to do a Thailand pass or anything like that. So let's try and see if that's all true information and we'll try and get through and let you know. Let's get run over. Stop it. You better hurry up. Yeah, they do that, don't they? Yeah. Thank you. So we're walking around here now. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi. Where are you going? Uh, uh, Thailand. Phuket. Phuket. Uh, you're from this far. I'm ready to come back. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So we just got through immigration. Um, we are now officially in Thailand. It was quite an easy process. Didn't have to pay any fees. I was with from the UK, so we get a month for free here anyway. Uh, just had to fill out the TM6 form. The process took a little bit long. If we were in there about an hour in total, queuing all that kind of stuff. But it was simple. Bags through, easy done. And now the train station is apparently just a five minute walk down this road, maybe ten minutes. So we're going to do that now, even though it's very hot. I'd rather not, but at the same time. I saved some money. And we didn't have to show our COVID passes either, actually. It was just straight away through. Oh, thanks, mate. Um, it literally just had to show our passports. So that was it, wasn't it? Passports. Yeah, just passports. Yeah. Like pre COVID. It's really easy. Nice. Yeah. We're here at the train station now, Padang Basar train station um, it was about five minute walk from the border so not too far at all we just turn left out of the uh, the border and walk down the road and you'll see the train um, the train station so we've got a little bit of a wait until our train now and um, about two hours now we've already been here about an hour the train tickets cost just 50 baht each to Hat Thai uh, it's about a 55 minute journey and from there, we have to go to the bus terminal in Hattiai, and then from there, we are catching a coach to all the way to Phuket, which is probably the longest bit of the journey. So our bus is at 6 p.m. and then we get to Phuket around 12.31 a.m. So we get there quite late. Um, but that part of the journey, we had to actually book online. So when you first get to Thailand, when you first get to the border, there, there's people selling SIM cards there. So you can buy a SIM card if you haven't got one already. Luckily, we already have our SIM cards and we've put them in our phone. I had a little bit of um, credit, so I just topped that up. So luckily we have internet and we can do things on our phones. So we're really, really lucky because there's no Wi-Fi around here. So just bear that in mind. If you are coming through the border, maybe pick up a SIM card. Depends how long you're going to be in Thailand for. Obviously, if you've been in Thailand for ages, worth picking one up. We're only here for a day, so I've just got a little deal, like a 12-hour, 24-hour deal or something. But yeah, so just, just bear that in mind. So we're a little bit stressed right now. The train was meant to get here at 20 to 4. Um, it takes an hour, so we would have got there about 20 to 5. And that would have given us a nice hour and 20 minutes to get to our bus. Because it's about um, a 20 minute drive, I think, uh, where we're getting dropped off on the train. And it's currently over half an hour late. The guy reckons we're another 20 minutes. So that brings us to like 20 past four, half past four, which is cutting it fine now. Um, so what we're gonna do is leave it until about half past four, so 20 minutes. And if the train's still not here, we're gonna have to call a cab and just go direct and just pay that extra fee. Uh, I probably would recommend just getting a cab straight there if you're doing this journey, to be honest, because it's just not worth it. The stress. All right, so we're hoping we're going to make our bus. We had an hour and 40 minute gap in between, and this train has been an hour and 20 minutes late. 
So we hope we can get there, get a cab to the bus station, I hope we make it, because obviously we lost 30 quid today. Just, we are yeah. really stressed out right now. I can't Dickens. believe it's so Out late. Half late. <sighs> you can't yeah, trust the you. public transport here. Finally on the train. Apparently it's an hour. It's 20 to 5, so 26. He just wait. He told us 40 minutes, but the train's an hour long. It's an hour. Yeah. Right, I'm going to say it's an hour. If it's 40 minutes, then wow, fair enough. They've obviously sped right through. I don't know how they're going to make 40 minutes, but it's an hour journey. But if they do make 40 minutes, I'll be very, very thankful because I need to get there. Um, but let's just hope that we do make it. We're just hoping now. Fingers crossed. At least we're on the train. That's all that matters. At least we're on the train, right? Fingers crossed. Let's do it. Imagine the train being an hour and a half late. It doesn't help that our ticket doesn't say what bus station we'll go to even. There's two bus stations a kilometre away from each other. We've got to risk it now and just hope we get to the right one in time. So we came out of the train station and um, there's lots of like taxi men around. So we just got into this like tuk tuk. It doesn't seem like there's grab here. No, there's no grab here either. So it's 50 baht each to get to the terminal. Good. Fingers crossed we make it. We might actually make it. We're very hopeful now. What time is it now? Like Spirits half six. are up. We're buzzing half five. Now. It's uh, 20 to 6. Oh my god, literally by the skin of our teeth. We're actually here uh, quite early. Uh, that's if we're in the right place. Yeah, we might not be in the right place actually. Don't jinx it. Oh look, there's platforms. Platform 14, there. There. That's our platform. Let's hope. Wait, don't speak too soon. Just pull the weird face. She looks confused. Hello, thank you. Big wing. Uh, Phuket. This one. Is it this bus? Phuket. I'm a Phuket guy. I don't know where we're meant to go. <laughs> Everyone's just like, over there, over there. It always happens in Thailand, doesn't it? Here. Yeah, Phuket. I think we might be at the right place, finally. She looks like my hope happy. Oh my god, have we made it? <laughs> I'm not going to be so happy to get on that bus. I'm on that bus. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Go? This one? That bus there? This one? Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We made it. Ready? Oh. Here. Oh, it started off so well, didn't it? We went to shit in the end. I can't say that. <laughs> we made it with about 20 minutes to spare. We're on the bus. Oh, no, it's about 10. 10. 10 minutes. But we should actually... I had time to go to the toilet and get some snacks quickly. I'm actually and really surprised we had time. We're on the bus, so we can't rely on public transport. You've got to be well prepared and planned. We had hours to spare. Hours, like, I'm talking like only two hours to spare. Yeah. We left it like half seven this morning. Yeah. We had hours in between <laughs> of transport and because it was delayed it nearly messed up everything because we've paid for our booking tonight, we've paid for this, like yeah. we've got to be so careful. Welcome to Thailand. Welcome to Thailand where well, we're here, we're on the bus and that's how you get across the border. And now this is the longest bit of the journey going all the way to Phuket. I think this is about seven hours. Yeah, so let's do the journey. Yeah. We've just called the woman, she's coming down to check us in at 1.56am. 
made it. Morning guys, we've just got up and checked out of our hotel. Um, it is about 12 o'clock in the afternoon now. We got here obviously very, very late last night at like, mm -hmm. what, two, half two, yeah. something like that. So yeah, and I got up really early. It was thunderstorming all last night. So, um, and rain, really heavy rains. I didn't get much sleep, but that's all right. I'll hopefully sleep on the flight later. Our last lunch here. So this is literally like a two minute walk from our hotel. So we thought we'd spend our last day here at the beach. The food's better, I'm a better I love food, yeah. yeah. It's like, it just tastes so good. I love eating like Thai cuisine. It's yeah. my favourite cuisine. It's I mean. so tasty. Yeah. Definitely my favourite as well. I was a lot skinnier when I was in Thailand. Quite a lot of weight, maybe. Good afternoon guys from sunny Phuket. We made it here last night. Um, we got to our hotel about half two in the morning. And yeah, you would have seen how we got all the way from Malaysia to Thailand. So we worked it out and if someone was to go all the way from Langkawi to Phuket, it would cost you £39.25. I'll put the conversion rate on here for your country now. Um, but that would be including all the taxi prices, all the bus ticket prices, the ferries, all of it. Um, £39.25, which if you think about it, it's really good considering flights were at least double that. Although it is definitely a less convenient way of travelling, it's more stressful, it's longer, and there's a lot of planning involved in it, it does save you a lot of money. So if you are on a budget and you do have a bit of extra time in your travels, then why not opt for the way that we travelled from Malaysia to Thailand, as it will save you a lot of money. Yeah, it just it literally is just that whole day of travelling. But we hope you enjoyed our video anyway. And after all of that stress, we did manage to make all of the buses that we booked, all the timings, and like I said, we did leave plenty of time between each of them. It was just that there was like delays in like a couple of the journeys, which will cause us to not actually make it. But luckily, we made it just by the skin of our teeth, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. So that does prove that it it does require a lot of planning to make sure that you're going to catch all of your trains, your ferries, your buses on time because some of the transport only runs every four hours, there's only two trains a day, um, so you do need to make sure you've timed it all correctly. Yeah, and make sure you leave enough time in between to, yeah. for, for errors like what we had yesterday with yeah. delays. But yeah, that'll bring us to the end of the video now, I think. Yeah. So we're going to thank you guys for watching our video. Really appreciate it. And thank you guys for subscribing lately. We've seen the numbers going up crazy. So we really, really appreciate it. And we hope this video was helpful to you. If it was helpful, then make sure you hit that like button. Have you guys recently crossed the land border in any country, maybe from Malaysia to Thailand or Thailand to Malaysia or any of the neighboring countries? How was your experience? Let us know in the comments because we like to hear other people's experience and see how you got on too. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll like this one next. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.